At the beginning of the movie, a boy named Greg is woken up in the middle of the night by his elder brother Roderick, saying that he's going to be late for school. Hearing this, Greg starts preparing in a rush, and while doing so, he wakes everyone up. When his father comes downstairs, Greg learns that he's been fooled by Roderick. Later, while having breakfast, it is revealed that Greg is often troubled by Roderick and his younger brother, Manny. In the next scene, Greg goes to attend his first day at middle school. There, he sees everyone getting out of control and vandalizing the hallway. While walking to class, he starts expressing his hatred towards middle school, as almost all of his classmates are taller and more muscular than him. However, he becomes relieved when he sees his friend, Chirag Gupta, who happens to be the shortest student in class. In class, Greg meets Rowley, who is still not mature enough to be in middle school. Furthermore, Rowley can be seen playing with children and acting like them. Soon after, the classes begin, and Greg takes a seat beside Rowley. Afterward, the kids are taken outside for PE classes, but Greg and Rowley seem uninterested in it. While they're discussing on a bench, another classmate, Fregley, approaches them. He is so untidy that he is frequently sent home for hygiene issues. Later, Coach Malone, who is also their gym teacher, makes them play a game called Gladiator after splitting them into two groups. As per the game, one team chases the other and makes them fall to the ground. After trying hard, Greg and Rowley manage to escape from the field and hide under the stairs. Just then, they meet a female classmate, Angie, who is also trying to avoid PE class. Angie reveals that she spent the entire session hiding under the stairs and offers them to join her. However, Greg leaves the place with Rowley as soon as they hear the coach's whistle. While walking, the duo notices a piece of cheese lying nearby. As Greg gets down to check it, he is suddenly stopped by Chirag, who warns him not to touch the cheese. He then informs Greg about an incident called Cheese Touch, where a student touched the same cheese and became an outcast in the school. After having enough, the student touched another student and passed on the curse. In this way, the school went into a frenzy and everyone turned on one another. The curse was finally abolished when a German exchange student took away the touch with him to his country. Hearing this story, Greg and Rowley are taken aback. Sometime later, when Greg goes to the school toilet, he feels disappointed to notice that it doesn't have doors. Further, he is not given a seat in the cafeteria and thus has to sit on the floor by Rowley and Fregley. After classes, some students bully Greg when they get to know that he's friends with Rowley. Back at home, Greg takes Rowley to his brother Roderick's room and starts reading his school magazine. To their misfortune, Roderick arrives there and threatens to beat up Greg. Luckily, Greg manages to lock himself inside his room with Rowley's help, but soon after, he feels like going to the bathroom. He apologizes to Roderick, who has been standing outside, but the latter isn't going to back down. Time passes by, but Roderick's boots are still visible from the door's crack. When it becomes irresistible for Greg, he gears up and storms outside, only to discover that Roderick left long ago, with only his boots remaining there. After this, Greg rushes to the toilet and starts peeing. Suddenly, Roderick appears from behind the curtains and a startled Greg pees all over him. Just then, their mother arrives at the scene and Greg is again punished for his shenanigans. The next day at school, Greg and Rowley find out about different classroom activities on the notice board. Meanwhile, Greg's old nemesis named Patty arrives there and threatens him by saying that she's running for the student council president. Turns out he had made fun of her ugly face in the past. After that, Angie also shows up and suggests to Greg that he should write articles for the school magazine. However, the boys don't take her seriously and instead decide to sign up for wrestling. Later, when they attend the fighting ring, they become disappointed to know that it is totally different from what they had imagined. There, Coach Malone divides the students according to their body weights, and thus, Greg gets his opponent as Fregley. As the fight begins, Greg gets continuously smacked by Fregley on all rounds, making him humiliated before others. Back at home, Greg tries to eat more food, hoping to gain weight so that he may face Rowley as his next opponent. While Roderick advises him not to take part in any activities, his father motivates him to train harder and perform well in the next match. 
In the next scene, Greg cunningly weighs heavier by putting weights on his shoes to get into Rowley's group, and he succeeds. But to his dismay, his opponent is Patty, who had already beaten him in the past. Even this time, Greg is beaten comprehensively, and to add insult to injury, his loss is published in the school magazine's front page. After the incident, Greg becomes widely infamous, and he thinks of another way to become everyone's favorite. He dresses in a formal attire and walks down the hallway, attracting the attention of everyone. However, he again gets disappointed when he finds out that Rowley has also put on the same attire. As a result, the entire class mocks them, claiming that they're in love. Later, Greg realizes that he is continuously failing in every aspect because of an old-fashioned Rowley. Hence, he decides to change his looks. Greg then overhauls Rowley's entire dress-up, teaches him how to act cool, and also paints his bicycle black. The following morning, Rowley shows up looking much better than earlier. Later that night, Rowley comes to Greg's house in a funny king's costume with a red blinker on his chest. Meanwhile, Greg gets dressed as a pirate as they're celebrating Halloween. The two plan to walk to the colonies of rich people, but Roderick scares them by saying that a forest named Devil Worshipper Wood lies along the way, where children are abducted and eliminated. Despite his fearful story, the kids go to the colony and collect many candies and chocolate. While on the way, they are bullied by some teenagers driving by, and in return, Greg threatens to report them to the police. Hearing this, the teenagers get furious and start chasing the duo, but luckily they manage to get inside Greg's grandmother's house. While escaping the house, Greg inadvertently scratches their car with a weed eater, which enrages them even more. When the bullies are about to attack, the duo run for their lives and soon enter Devil Worshipper Wood. There, they hear some strange noises and immediately run away. However, the sound was made by none other than Fregley. The next day at class, Greg and Rowley decide to join safety patrols, thinking of it as another cool activity. They get a bold outfit, a shining badge, and even a cup of cocoa drink. In the afternoon, while they help some juniors cross the road, they notice the same teenagers from the previous night driving toward them. Luckily, they manage to hide themselves by standing in line with the other kids. Months pass by, and it is now winter. One day, Greg and Rowley are playing outdoors in the snow. Just then, Rowley falls into a pile of snow and breaks his hand. To his surprise, his broken hand becomes the ladder to popularity and admiration. Many schoolgirls find him to be funny and allow him to have lunch with them at the table. Rowley is now treated as a cool guy with his broken hand, which makes Greg jealous. He fakes having an infection in his hand to gain his classmates' sympathy, but fails. Afterward, Greg learns that the cartoonist of the school magazine is sick, and there is a vacancy for one. He quickly thinks to become famous by creating cartoons, and thus starts practicing after reaching home. However, he cannot come up with a concrete idea despite several hours of practice. He then calls Rowley to assist him in making cartoons, and the latter comes up with a funny character named Zoo Wee Mama. However, Greg disagrees with Rowley's idea, claiming that it is boring and repetitive. He then shouts at Rowley to make the cartoon himself. One afternoon, Greg borrows Rowley's raincoat to walk the juniors to their home. Just then, he notices a car approaching in the heavy rain and mistakens it to be of the same teenagers. As a result, he quickly leads the juniors inside a hole. As he's about to jump in with them, he is spotted by a guardian who mistakes him for Rowley because of the raincoat. In the next class, Rowley is declared the next cartoon artist because of his funny comic, Zoo Wee Mama. This increases his popularity around school, and even the teachers praise his cartoon. Greg, on the other hand, is upset because he is still a nobody. In the next scene, while Greg and Rowley are walking down the hallway, the school's security officer takes Rowley to his office and immediately removes him from safety patrol duty, saying that he misbehaved with the juniors. Rowley is stunned, as he has no clue about what the officer is talking about. Afterward, Greg confesses to Rowley that it was he who misbehaved with the juniors. Hearing this, Rowley gets devastated and immediately calls off their friendship. As the news spreads over the school, Greg is boycotted by everyone, and he is left alone everywhere. 
Shortly after, the security officer also learns about Greg's deeds and banishes him from duty. Moreover, he promotes Rowley to captain for being generous and kind. As time passes by, Greg keeps trying different ways to become more popular than Rowley. However, his lack of friends and support demotivates him. Hence, he goes to Fregley's house one day, but after seeing his dirty habits, he gets fed up in no time. In the next scene, Greg goes to audition for a cast in the school play. There, he sings beautifully and impresses the selector so much that she decides to give him the prime role. However, Patty steps forward and threatens the selector to accept her as the lead role. When the selector finds out about Patty's influential parents, she immediately accepts her as the prime character and confines Greg to the role of a tree. Hearing this, Greg decides to walk away, but when Chirog mentions that trees can throw apples at Patty, he agrees. One evening, the school play is organized and all the guardians attend the show. The students begin the play with a smooth start, but afterward, when Greg spots his brother filming his humiliation, he stops singing and screws up the whole show. Patty gets furious at Greg for ruining her show and starts shouting at him. Soon, everyone on the stage ends up fighting and throwing apples at each other. The next morning, Roderick brings a crumpled invitation card that Greg had thrown in the trash. The invitation is for Greg's mother to attend a mother and son sweetheart dance, which will occur later that evening. Greg continues to refuse the invitation, but the family decides against him, making him furious. Hence, he plots revenge by slipping adult magazines into Roderick's bag, which their mother notices shortly after. She then punishes Roderick by grounding him for weeks and taking away his car keys. Later that night, Greg and his mother visit the dance party, where Greg tries to reunite with Rowley but fails. When the music starts, Rowley dances excellently in tune with his mother, stealing the show. The next morning, Rowley comes to Greg, asking him to return the video game that he left in Greg's house. However, Greg doesn't show any intentions of returning it, and things start to get intense. Just then, Patty arrives there and encourages the two to start a fight. While they're searching for a chance to hit each other, the teenagers from Halloween night arrive at the playground and start bullying them. One of the teenagers punishes Rowley by making him eat the foul cheese lying on the ground. When it's Greg's turn, the bullies are chased away by Coach Malone. Following this, all students come outside and discover that the foul cheese has been eaten. But before they deem Rowley responsible for it, Greg takes the blame upon himself. This terrifies everyone, and they flee away from Greg, saying that he has the cheese touch. But Rowley and Angie stay with him. Rowley then reunites with Greg and agrees to play video games at his house later that night. In the last scene, Patty delivers the school book to everyone, but refuses to hand one to Greg, saying he has cheese touch. On the other hand, she embraces Rowley as she's unaware of the reality. In the school book, Greg and Rowley manage to place themselves in the cutest friends section.